What's up YouTube, it's Herbo13, and I'm going to show you guys how to create a new updated server for Minecraft so that you and your friends can play on it for free. Now the first thing you need to do is download two programs. One's called LogMe and Hamachi, and the other one is the Minecraft server, and I'll have both those linked in the description, and I'll download those right now so you guys can see that they are the updated versions. Uh, when you get to the LogMe and Hamachi screen, you just click on this, the conditions of use, click the check. And it depends on if you're using a Mac or a Windows computer. Uh, Windows, you just click the green bar. Mac, you have to click that little blue link. Uh, I'm running Windows, so I'm going to click this. It'll then download Hamachi. Then you need to go to Minecraft.net. And then when you get to Minecraft.net, you want to log in. You have to have a Minecraft account, obviously. And once you log in, you're going to go down to where it says Play Minecraft. And you hit Download. And then down here, it says Multiplayer Server. You need to download this. And it says Minecraft underscore server dot exe. Um, file you just click on that and it'll download both of those I have those both saved to my desktop so I have them both right here and once you get that you are pretty much ready to go set this up you also need the minecraft.exe uh, actual game so you need to buy that like I said before and then so you need to set up Amachi so you need to run that and set this up really quick install and now once you install this you'll get a if you set it up to be on uh, your desktop, you'll have a desktop icon say and uh, log me in Hamachi, and it'll come for you. And there it is, right there. So just let this finish. And once this is done, you need to do one more thing with the Minecraft uh, server. So this will install the driver for the network. And it might take a little while. Should be done soon, though. All right, now it's done. I'm just gonna uncheck that for now. So now you have this. You can get rid of the installation uh, program, and now you have the Minecraft underscore server and login Hamachi. What you need to do is do uh, just right-click on the desktop, go to New, click on Folder, and then name it whatever you want. But this is gonna be your Minecraft server, so I'm just gonna call it Minecraft Server. All right, and then drag and drop the Minecraft server.exe file into there, because then when you when you run the server, it'll make a bunch of files that go with the server, and you want all those to be in the exact same place. So you want them to be pretty much in the same folder. Um, and I'll explain that in a second. But now you need to up and up, log me in Hamachi. All right, and I'll bring you to a screen like this. You have to click on this online power on button to get it started, and then you're going to create a client name. I'm just going to leave mine as that. You can name it whatever you want. It doesn't matter. You don't really need it uh, later. You're just going to click Create. And then it'll look up your IP address. You need to be connected to the Internet, obviously. So it'll look up your IP address and create a server for you to use. All right, and now you get to this page. You have the uh, IP address right there and your other numbers. Uh, you can either create or join. So when you create a server, you're going to create. click that one, obviously. But then when you... Have your friends try to join your server. They also need to download LogMe and Hamachi. Uh, I didn't say that in my other video that I posted about a year ago. Um, I, I guess I completely forgot about that. But you do need to have LogMe and Hamachi on both of your computers. Um, so, if, like, say your friend wants to log in, tell them to download LogMe and Hamachi, and then do the exact same thing as this, set it up and everything. But then when they get to this page, you're going to create or you're going to join an existing network, all right? But for the person who is uh, setting up the server and is going to be actually running the server, you're going to create a new network. So you're going to click on that, and then you're going to make up a network ID. It doesn't really matter, but they will need to know this to join. So I'm just going to type in DTRobo13, and then you can set up a password if you want. I'm just going to do YouTube as the password and hit Create. And now you have a server running that's called, uh, mine's called DTRobo13. You guys, it'll be whatever you guys uh, want it to be there. And then so when your friend comes in, and wants to join your Minecraft server, they need to do this first when they get into LogMe and Hamachi. They need to go to Network and click on Join an Existing Network. All right, They're going to click on that, and then this will pop up. They need to type in your exact network ID. So like mine is DTRobo13. So they're going to type in DTRobo13 like that. And then you need to tell them the password. So it would be YouTube. All right, and then you hit Join. But since I'm already in it, obviously, blah, 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 I'm already, you own this network and you're already a member of it. But once you click join, they will then join your Logman Hamachi. You need to do that before you do anything with Minecraft. You have to get in the same server 
in order for you to then uh, let them join your server for Minecraft. So once uh, they get this uh, set up and you guys are both in the same server, it should say their name down here after they get everything set up for the Logmean Hamachi, then uh, you're pretty much good to go after that. Uh, you can minimize that. The person who's uh, actually running the server and the people who are in it all need to have Logman Hamachi up. Uh, so you can just minimize that. Then go into this Minecraft server. Whoever is actually running the server needs to have this. Uh, and then double click on the Minecraft server, hit run. And this will then pop up. And as you can see over here, all these different files are being made. This is why you need to have it in a uh, separate folder so that they all stay together. Because this is for your specific Minecraft uh, server and your game. This is where all your stuff will be saved. Uh, and then you need you need to keep this separate from everything else. You need to keep it in its own folder and keep everything together. So you can click X on that, but keep this open. So now this is the actual server that I'll be running, and you also need to keep this open as well. But once you hit run and have all that running, uh, you can just minimize that, and then you want to bring up Logmin Hamachi again and keep that over to the side uh, so that you can memorize, not memorize, but so you can see what the uh, IP address is. You're going to then click on Minecraft.exe, which is the actual Minecraft game. You can then log in. And then once you log in, you're going to go to multiplayer, and I'll get rid of these because these were all my test ones. Delete that and delete that. All right. So then once you get into the play multiplayer one, you're going to click on add server, and then you're going to type in whatever the number is right up here for your IP address. This is how you connect to the Logmin Hamachi server. You're going to type in 5. Point, or you're going to type in whatever you think. So mine's 5.186.195.153. And after you do that, you're going to hit done. It'll then pull for it and it'll search for it. And you'll see that it has the green bars and it is connected. You can double click on it. And now you're connected to it. Let me turn my volume down so you guys won't get distracted by that. All right. So now you can see it is running. It might be a little choppy for me right now because I am running like four different things right now. I'm recording the screen as well. Uh, but as you can see, it is running. It is working. You can bring up the Minecraft thing. It'll say that Robo13 logged in with Entity, blah, blah, blah. And it'll give you all the information for that. And then for your friend, for your friend to connect, they have just have to do the exact same thing. They have to go to, into multiplayer, click on add server, type in the server name, and then you're, you're good to go uh, once you get to that. So you need to have the login Hamachi. Your friend needs to be logged in through here uh, first, and then they need to add the server into here. So remember, hit network, join existing network, and then type in all your information and your password and network ID, and then have them type in the exact same IP address right there uh, for the... Minecraft multiplayer and then they can get in and start playing it and this is the updated version I know I posted this about a year ago. Um, it wasn't updated, but this is the uh, newest one. It is um, April 10th right now, so you guys can uh, tell what time it is um, And how long ago this was posted so uh, and one other thing that you guys were wondering about is why you can't destroy blocks uh, Right away as you can see when I try to destroy this it just keeps coming back that's because when you were on a server, you can't be, uh, when, you, when you first spawn, you can't make or destroy or do anything near your spawn point. So you just have to walk away for a while, uh, away from the place that you spawned. So now I can try it over here, and I'm sure it'll work here. So as you can see, now, now the stuff disappears. Now I can destroy blocks, and then I can pick blocks up and then post, and place them other places. It's just because when you first spawn, there's some glitches with it, I guess, and you can't destroy anything from uh, your spawn point. You have to walk away from it for a little while. Uh, and then you can just build a bed and then change your spawn point that way. Um, but I hope you guys like this video. If you do, please hit the like button down below. Uh, it helps me out a ton. And if you guys have any questions or if you run into any issues, just post a comment down below and I'll, I'll help you guys out. I'll definitely uh, pretty much figure out all the errors for you guys. Uh, it's not that hard. What You just have to remember that you do need to be logged into Log Me and Hamachi over here. You have to have the network set up. You have to be joined in with your friend uh, for them to join, and then they have to type in the IP address over there. I didn't mention that in my last video, um, but that is the most important thing. You have to have yourself set up in Logme and Hamachi. Um, so again, really quick, you just hit that, logged in, hit this uh, after it probes and finds the, uh, the network, your IP address and everything. It'll then uh, set you up with your new IP address for your game. You hit network, create new network. You type in whatever you want. Uh, for the username, or for the network ID and the password, I uh, hit create. All right, you hit create, and there it is. So then you uh, then take your friend, and they are also in Logmin Hamachi. They go to network, join existing network. They type in the exact same name as you and the exact same password, and then you hit join. 
and then you're good to go. You just need that IP address, and then you can log into your uh, server. So I hope you guys like this video again, and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks, guys.